Wow, 1,000 videos. I can't believe I've made it this far. And as you all know, I've always been very secretive of showing my face, always blurring it out, because I, I, I never really wanted to just show it. But that ends today. For the first time ever, I thought I, I would do an actual true face reveal for you guys. So without further ado, this is me. This is who I am. And uh, I'm not ashamed to admit it. And uh, if you'll allow me, I'd like to continue talking about my shot glass collection, part two of two. I started this way back in 2016, but I'd, I'd like to uh, pick up where we left off. I've also, um, I also forgot where we left off, so let's just, let's just start from the beginning. This is a really cool shot glass. Um, this is a shot glass that my sister gave to me for, I want to say my birthday, years ago. It's very, it's very cute, thank you. It's a good shot glass. This, oh here, this is interesting. This shot glass um, uh, was given to me by my mother. It says, it says Route 66, um, but it's been worn down over the ages. Um, this, this is reminiscent of, of our road trip that we took from Maryland to uh, California. This is the Route 66 shot glass. A lot of uh, memories. Thanks, Mom. Uh, this one's far too large. Ah, oh, here we go. High roller. This is a, this is a, this is a high roller uh, shot glass from Las Vegas. They have one of the largest, if not the largest Ferris wheels in the world uh, called the High Roller. And um, it's a delight. I've always loved the shape of the shot glass, the, the dual grip handles. It's, um, I, I'll be honest, I'm not sure if I've ever, if I've ever had a drink out of, um, one of these bad boys. Not this one, at least. I'm gonna put you in the bad boy pile. <laughs> um, uh, you can't, you can't talk about shot glasses without talking about my little, uh, baby Guinness, uh, shot glasses. These hold significant weight. Uh, I actually got these myself in, in Ireland, I believe specifically Dublin, um, or maybe, you know what, that may have been the airport in Dublin. Well, that's still Dublin, I think. Yeah, I got these in uh, an airport in Dublin, I think the airport in Dublin, and um, let me tell you, nobody pours a finer pint of Guinness than the lovely people of Ireland. But you know what? These little um, shot glasses are perfect for baby Guinnesses, okay? A baby Guinness is you fill it up about maybe two-thirds uh, or maybe like maybe four-fifths up with a coffee liqueur like Kahlua. And then the last bit, the, the head, it's just Baileys, and you have to pour the Baileys very carefully, otherwise it curdles and mixes in with the uh, coffee liqueur. Um, so what, what I like to do is I, I take a spoon, I invert it, put it over the top of the shot glass, and I get the Baileys, and carefully pour it in slowly, that way you get a nice layer. And it's called a baby Guinness because by the end it looks like a little pint of Guinness, complete with a head. It's a wonderful way to um, either kickstart or, or bookend your evening. I'm gonna put these guys next to these other mad lads here. Oh man. Oh, this takes me back. This is a, uh, uh, this is a shot glass. Specifically, a shot glass from Venice. This is from Venice, um, which is in Europe now. And this was a lovely, oh, riding the, uh, the gondolas, wearing the, uh, the Venetian masks. This was a lovely adventure, misadventure, one might say. No, it was just a regular adventure in Europe. And, um, you know, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna suck when the whole place of Venice is, um, 
underwater. But gone but not forgotten. Uh, great shot glass. This shot glass is one of Aaron's shot glasses. Yes, yes, this collection is not mine entirely. Aaron actually has some ownership in uh, the shot glasses in this house. You know, one, one could say she wears the pants in this house. This shot glass is from uh, uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, I love the martini shape of the shot glass. Um, you can you can barely see. I don't know if you can tell. You can barely see. It's very hard to tell, but you can barely see the uh, the cracked Liberty Bell and uh, Philadelphia. It's been long worn down after uh, I suppose heavy use. Drink responsibly. What else? Um, what's this say? It says Ryan's Bar in Siesta Key, Florida. I don't know the story behind this. This is one from Florida. I've only been to Florida a handful of times and I've never gotten a shot glass from there. This must be one of um, Aaron's trips to Florida. I don't... Yeah, I don't like that one. Uh, oh, cool. Oh, cool. This is... this. This comes in a pair. This comes in a pair. So we have two very, very festive shot glasses, um, both featuring uh, little monkeys. These are both from, from uh, uh, Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. Um, Aaron and I just had the, uh, the loveliest time there um, a few summers back. And uh, goodness gracious, um, just a fun, Fun time. Fun, fun time. I wouldn't drink out of these shot glasses, though. This one has, like, actual sand glued onto it, and I wouldn't want to risk putting the sand to the lips. Uh, I just noticed this monkey has uh, googly eyes. Wow, I've had this shot glass for three years. Not once did I ever notice the googly eyes. Well... You learn something new every day. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, let's let's talk about this spicy mitabala. We got a couple. We got a couple of these that we need to discuss. Uh, these are uh, come in a pair. These come in a pair. These are gorgeous, gorgeous, lovely shot glasses from the uh, the Pleasure Fair, the Renaissance Fair in Irwindale, California, every spring. Um, I go to these every year, and I try to pick up a little shot glass or something every year. It's my little, it's my little annual tradition. I do so love it there. This is, look at this, this is a beautiful skull, okay? This is a beautiful skull, um, handcrafted from the, the fires of Mordor? No one really knows. Um, oh no, there's a website in the back. All right, well, regardless, still a very handsome uh, shot glass. I love that. Never have I ever taken a drink from the shot glass. How can you? It's too, it's too pretty. And this one, now this one I have had drinks out of because it's much more traditionally shaped, as you can tell. You hear that? That's real shot glass. But this, I love this. This is a wolf's head. I have to, you have to be very careful. It's weighty. It's got a lot of uh, heft and weight to it. This is a wolf, wolf face. Oh, there's that website again. 97. 1997. Um, great shot glasses. Reminds me, it takes me back to my Renaissance Fair days. Um, yes, it does. Um, yeah, a lot of these... I'm not crazy about these, because... I don't like when I don't know the histories. But like, so here's, here's Georgia. This is a Georgia shot glass with a little Georgia peach. Never been myself, but uh, apparently Aaron has. So uh, this is this is Boston. No, I have been to Boston before, but I don't think I I did not get this one. This is another one from Aaron, and uh, oh, I may have gotten this one. This is from New Orleans, New Orleans. The, lo the, local the locals say Nolens. 
Um, but this is New Orleans. I may have gotten this one because I was briefly there to host some hosting gig um, years ago in New Orleans. Then again, I'm not confident that may have been Aaron's too. Let's let's spice it up with um, with uh, a minion. This is a minion shot glass, as you can tell, and it's actually uh, it's plastic, so you can just you can it's fine. It's fine. It's a plastic shot glass. This was given to me by a lovely fan. I want to say either at VidCon, probably VidCon. Let's just say this was given to me by a fan at VidCon. I do love this shot glass. It does need cleaning though. It needs a lot of cleaning. But I think I've used it before. So thank you for the shot glass. It looks very handsome in my collection. Uh, we only have a few more. Uh, to get through. This is this is another um, fan gift. This says, um, I don't know if you can read this, it says uh, Slutty Elsa. Slutty Elsa. That's That was my Halloween costume from, uh, oh boy, three years back? Something crazy like that? Yeah, sounds about right. Three years back. Um, I, I, I introduced that character in a jackass years ago and um, some amazing fan made this beautiful shot glass, which has a lot of, you want to talk about weight. This bad boy's got heft, heft for days. And so I quite loved, I love the, uh, I love it. I love it. That's it. I love it. Um, let's go, let's go around the world to the Tower of London, where I picked up this little puppy. It says, it says here, Tower of London, beautifully, um, mono, monogrammed in this, crystal, this gorgeous uh, crystal glass. Um, we we went to uh, London last summer, last year, and the Tower of London is no joke, no joke. We're like real medieval, it's real medieval uh, what they did to the uh, poor prisoners there, but um, I'm sure they deserved it. Uh, oh, I missed one. I missed one from my uh, Renaissance Fair um, days. This is, now, this is a wooden shot glass. You can listen. I, I think that's wood. Um, it says on here, ninth and three quarters. That's right, Harry Potter fans. It's a, it's a nine and platinum, it's a plat, it's a plat, uh, it's a platform, nine and three quarters. There it is. Platform nine and three quarters for all of you um, J.K. Rowling fans. I got this at a Renaissance fair, and and you, and you might be thinking, the, the Renaissance fair, Jack. Why are you? Why would you get a Harry Potter uh, shot glass from, of all places, the Renaissance fair, and not say, uh, Uni Universal Studios? Good question. But the answer is they had it at the Renaissance fair. I think I picked this up last year. This may be my most recent purchase at the Renaissance Fair. I'll leave you right there. Um, oh, we gotta talk about my hometown, Maryland. My home state, Maryland, I should say, not a hometown. Uh, but uh, th this, is, this is the Maryland flag. As you can see, it's a good flag. It's a solid flag. And this is a solid shot glass. This right here is actually my go-to shot glass. Sorry, I'm looking around, I'm trying to find its, 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 its pair. Trying to find its pair. There's another shot glass. I believe this one was given to me by a fan. Um, and I say that because there's a note in there. Um, I don't want to read the note though, because that fan may may wish to remain anonymously. But these are some lovely Maryland shot glasses from my home state of Maryland. And if we got if we're gonna talk about home states in Maryland, we have to talk about this little this little um, uh, ne'er do well over over here. This is a Temple University shot glass. Temple University. That's where Erin went. So she is a proud um, alum of, of of Temple University. Other graduates of Temple University include Tim Heidecker and Eric Wareheim of Tim and Eric, famous duo. Also, Bill Cosby. They can't all be winners. Oh, nice. This is, I like this one. This is, uh, uh, this is a uh, 
Barcelona shot glass, uh, or as they say, over there, they say, uh, I think they still say Barcelona. But this is, this is a cool shot glass. It has like 3D art. Um, they have that, there's the cathedral or the church um, that's taken like a hundred years to build by that crazy uh, artist guy in Barcelona. They have some other wavy buildings that we went into. And it's just, it all, it's, a, it's a very um, beautifully hand-painted shot glass. This is one of those shot glasses that you're too scared to drink out of uh, and, and ruin the paint job. So I don't. I don't drink out of it. Not this one. That wouldn't be wise. Um, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, here's one from Australia. Um, Australia uh, Mates is a fun, fun um, country or continent or both. Um, fun fact about Australia, it's very far. And I was there years ago with a bunch of, a whole mess of YouTubers and we had just a gay old time. We went bungee jumping, you can see it all on uh, somewhere on the internet. Um, and there's a kangaroo on here. Uh, I got to pet kangaroos. I would love to go back to Australia. Just if they could somehow like <laughs> cryogenically freeze me over travel so that I wake up in Australia because boy oh boy is that journey along. But uh, it's worth it. If you're looking for a fun um, vacation spot, you could do a lot worse than the lovely land down under. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I got a little worked up. This is, um, a, this is a gem. This is a gem. This says, keep calm, keep calm and shamrock on because it's, an, it's a St. Patty's Day shot glass. You can only drink it on St. Patrick's Day. You can only drink from it on St. Patrick's Day. I got this from a bar in Baltimore during one of my sister's world famous pub crawls in Baltimore. And uh, if you'll just, if you'll just um, humor me, check this out, dude. Now, how cool is that? Imagine, imagine, if you will, slamming that down a pint, doing some kind of slammer. You know, you fill this up with something good and then you throw it in a, in a pint glass and, and it lights up and then, and then everyone loves you. That's so cool. I love that. Three years and counting, the thing still lights up like uh, like it was like the day it was like the um, like the day it came out. Arizona, Arizona, huh? Now now, Aaron, she has to go to Arizona uh, for 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 work frequently, and she picked this this guy up. This is very clean. Some people say the shot glass is boring. I I agree, but it's clean. And sometimes you just want a nice, clean, smooth shot glass to go with a nice, clean, smooth drink. Wouldn't you agree? So we'll put that over there. Uh, this is uh, John, John's Hops, this is John Hopkins. This is John Hopkins. Um, beautiful shot glass for my sister. Uh, this shot glass has mass. You could use the shot glass like a, um, like a paint, <coughs> pardon. You could use this shot glass like a paperweight. This thing has, this thing really does have some muscle to it, okay? Like this is one that you, if, if you're gonna slam this one, you gotta be careful. Do some damage with that shot glass. Um, this is, uh, this is one of, this is the cat's pajamas right here. This is one of the, uh, this is one of the best possessions I own. Not just shot glasses, this is just one of the best possessions in my possession. This is a prog mug shot glass. The shot glass meant to resemble a, 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 a beer stein um, that I got from Prague in the Czech Republic. And I spent a semester abroad there when I was just a, a, a junior in college. We're talking 2009. Yeah, 2009, 
and uh, I made some fun films with some fun people, made some incredible friends, uh, and really expanded my, my cultural horizons. Um, and I even learned, even learned a little Czech. Not for me, but I tried learning it. So, a valiant effort, if I may be so bold. What are you? This is a, a uh, this is a Cirque, Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du, Cirque, Cirque du Soleil. Cirque, um, those circus shows with the, they jump around and that's one of these. This is Totem, specifically Totem, because they all have crazy names like Zumanity and Ka and O and Totem. Totem, Aaron and I saw this show in Santa Monica. They jumped around real good and they hardly missed any of their jumps. Um, it was a very good show. If you're, <coughs> if the circus is in town, um, I highly recommend seeing uh, Cirque, de Soleil, Cirque de Soleil. A lot of fun. Bring your shot glass. Almost done, I think. This is from Toronto, uh, which is in the country of Canada. Canada. A lot of people don't think Canada is real, but it is. I've been a couple of times, actually. Um, and I got this, I must have gotten this one while I was in, uh, while, while I was at Buffer Festival, which is a uh, film festival, or I, I should be more specific, a video festival for online content creators, right? Like you have your Sundance and your Cannes, Con, Canes, whatever that one is. Um, and then you have Bufferfest for all of the, uh, all of us uh, YouTubers and video makers and and um, influencers love that word and uh, so this is uh, this I, I must have gotten that from one of those years ago boy these are all I, I keep saying that years ago years ago years ago I feel like these are all ghosts of my past it's, it's wonderful oh I missed you what are you this is a, um, I believe this is Egyptian. A fan gave this shot glass to me at the end of one of my shows two years ago with Seer. Seer and I, um, we uh, toured the country, did a little tour. It was a lot of fun. We met a lot of people. And at the end of one of our shows, a fan came up to me and gave me this beautiful shot glass from Egypt. And isn't that beautiful? I love that story. What are you? This is uh, Saint. No, oh, Saint Louis. Sorry, I got excited. I, I don't know. I don't know a thing about Saint Louis. Great. Um, I mean, yeah, the the arch, the, but like, sorry, it's just I've never been personally. I can't tell you much about the shot glass or St. Louis, or I'm sure the, the wonderful people of St. Louis, I can't. Uh, so that's, uh, that's Aaron's shot glass. Boring. This shot glass says, yeah. It says, Y-E-A-H exclamation point. Yeah. Um, this is a fun one. We only break this out for parties. It's the party shot glass. I believe a viewer gave that to me as well. What's this? This is, ah. Uh, there's another one from Arizona that Aaron must have purchased. It says, but it's a dry heat. I've always, that always gave me a little chuckle, you know, but then there's a skeleton, there's a skeleton, um, indicating that he passed, but he was optimistic. Um, I, I always find that a little funny. Uh, this, what are you? This is from, uh, Roma. Wait, this is from, no, this is, Italy. This one's from, this one's from Italy. Aaron's co-worker was recently in Italy and he gave us this beautiful glass as a, uh, as a present. This is brand, this is the newest addition, uh, to our collection. We'll have to, uh, make good use of this. 
Salon shut. Um, howdy from Texas is what this one says. Um, ooh, I like this one. This one says, um, party girl, Hollywood. And, uh, it's, it has like a little zebra, excuse me, excuse me, zebra striping inside. Um, I, a, a viewer gifted this to me at the end of one of our shows I was telling you about. I think our LA show, excuse me, our LA show, Sierra and I, we finish, and then this wonderful person gives me the shot glass knowing that I am, in fact, an avid collector of shot glasses. And, uh, what, and to you I say thank you, I love this one. I love how wide the brim is. This is, you won't find this very often. Oh, look at that. And the price tag is still on it. $4.98. A steal, if you ask me. Um, what are you? Manatees and all. Uh, Florida. Another Florida one. Another Florida one. Um, so that's fine, I guess. I don't really use this one. Who cares? Uh, let's just grab these two and just bring, bring them over. Um, this is uh, a... Oh, ASU, ASU. Um, this must have been after my um, f uh, Phoenix show, but it wasn't in Phoenix, it was another place. T T Tempe? Um, in Arizona, we did a show, and I think a fan came up and gave me this. This is an ASU shot glass. A uh, lot of, a uh, lot of, uh, history there. And then this is, uh, last but not least, Shoot. I don't know what this one is. It says Bigfoot. I don't know where I don't know where Aaron got this one from. Hey honey. Where'd you get the Bigfoot shot glass from? Washington State. She got it from Washington State. I went to Seattle. Seattle, Washington State. Gorgeous place. Okay. Oh, it really was. It really was. That explains a lot, um, hence the Bigfoot. All right, well guys, uh, thus concludes my 1,000th video, uh, one for the ages, and I will, uh,